I practice litigation, and I guess really why I chose it originally was um, I like to argue, and I've always liked to argue growing up with, with my family, and of course the natural evolution of that was to go into law and, and put that, that those argumentation skills to good use. So I really enjoy getting behind a client's cause, advocating on their behalf, pushing a case forward, and, and trying to get it resolved for them. That's what, that's what I find really satisfying in my practice getting a resolution for the client through smart argumentation. I think what I value so much about my practice is that I've had an opportunity and I've been lucky in fact to have, to have to been able to get on my feet and argue in court. I've argued trials on my own. Um, recently I was, I was in the federal court arguing a very unique case on behalf of six members of parliament um, who a group had tried to unseat based on alleged robocalls and it was very satisfying to actually be in the courtroom arguing on their behalf, trying to push forward uh, an issue which hadn't really been explored in the case law thus far. So the opportunity to actually make law uh, is very exciting to me and I think it's the thing that litigators find most satisfying. I think the best advice a mentor gave me is, is get to the point. And it was also the way that he, his name is Tim Farrell and he, and he gave me that advice in a way that really helped me and it was through what I'd call tough love. He kind of marked up my papers and he was, very, he was very strict about telling me, you know, stop at the flowery language and trying to be fancy and just tell a judge what you're trying to say and say what you mean. And I think that's very important for a young litigator because judges are bombarded with paperwork and arguments and cases. They really appreciate when someone gets to the point and argues in a succinct and concise way. Well, I think pro bono is very, is, is very meaningful to me in my practice um, because I feel that there's a significant problem in Ontario and throughout Canada with access to legal services. Even people in the middle class are finding that legal services are, are, are priced out of, their, of, out of their reach. And I feel good to be part of the solution in a sense by volunteering. One of the things I do is volunteer at the courthouse in Toronto to help give summary advice to people, help them figure out the legal system, especially where they're bewildered and can't figure, figure out where to turn, um, I find it, it does help them actually navigate the system when we give them that little bit of advice. And if everyone does 1% or 5% of their practice, I think it makes a big difference to solving that, that problem with um, legal services being priced out of, out of most people's price ranges. Good answer. Did you overcome any obstacles to get here? I think the biggest challenge that, that I had as a young litigator um, which I had to overcome was, was basically getting my sea legs in court. I think even though I like to talk and, and hear myself argue, it's, it's different when you step into a courtroom and you really have to kind of get, find your voice in the courtroom and learn how to speak to a judge and, and block out all the distractions. And so that's something I had to work on. Like everybody else, you have to get your confidence and your poise in court. And it just comes with just a lot of practice, volunteering to go to court any opportunity you have. Contributed most to your success in your area of practice? I think as a litigator what's contributed most to my success is really just trying to get on my feet as much as possible. So whether it be when I was a young litigator going to trial scheduling court it was mundane but it was worthwhile because you have to build up your confidence and you have to just push yourself forward, throw yourself in the deep end and, 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 and try to argue cases, even, even when you feel you're outmatched. Like I was involved in a $200 million arbitration recently and the principal wanted to give me a cross-examination of an expert and I was intimidated at first, but really once, you, uh, once I pushed myself and did it, I found that it went very well and, and it's really just about seizing the opportunities and pushing your career forward.